Well, it's handy, as always. As always, <laughs> right? Never know when. Game on, game yep. off. Game on. That's right. Back and forth, especially when you see, like, the wall of water yeah. on yeah. the horizon here, and then the wall of water on the horizon there, and then over there. Some of these storms, tiny but mighty. Heavy downpours, gusty wind. Again, in some spots this afternoon, no severe warnings today. I don't expect severe weather, not nothing widespread, but any of these storms, they're going to pack more downpours with them. And with that, the possibility of at least some briefly gusty wind. The key change to your weather story is that we're transitioning from more than just a summertime pop up storm setup. We did have summertime storms pop up with that heat of the day, but there's also been a cluster of storms that's been diving towards us out of Missouri. It's weakening as it comes closer, but it's the first time in the last few days where we've had multiple influences coming at us. So the showers and storms that developed with that heat, most of them now moving into higher elevations, uh, the strongest cluster of storms, or at least the most potent cluster of storms, it's in Fentress County. The stretch is down towards Clark Range. The showers and storms that we had in our Kentucky tier, they are showers. They are just rain at this point, not seeing lightning activity there. This will continue to slowly drift away from us. Now the cluster of storms that we had in Decatur and Perry, that's dipped just a little further south. So Waynesboro, you're seeing some rumbles of thunder, dark skies as you look to the north. We even have a few teeny tiny pinprick showers that are trying to get their act together uh, across parts of Robertson County. So just north of Springfield, if you're driving along Interstate 65, you look west, you see one tiny downpour, you look east, you see one, one tiny downpour closer to the Goodlettsville, Hendersonville area. We'll continue to see a few of these, these pop up scragglers ahead of what is a more widespread area of rain. Now the thunderstorm component of this has been weakening. The strength has been falling apart, but it's not going to go to zero. This is not going to fizzle out completely, but it will continue to steadily weaken the closer it gets to Interstate 65. Folks along our western tier, you're within an hour of these thunderstorms moving into your area. They will continue to decrease at 9 o'clock is when they're moving in towards that western tier, 10 o'clock closer to the Nashville area, falling apart, but not dying. So we'll continue to see a few uh, stray showers and storms even in the uh, late evening hours tonight, after midnight. 73 overnight tonight, that rain chance tomorrow, 70%. That's the highest it's been all week. And it's because we'll continue to have some activity, some energy, work in from Missouri, and that can really be the key to setting off more widespread showers and storms. So that's what we expect on Saturday. It'll still be scattered. There'll be dry pockets, but we'll have to navigate waves of rain Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. We don't dry off Rory till we head towards the middle part of next week.